So we're going to watch the episodes proper now. Welcome to my reaction to Hell of a Boss Season 2, Episode 8, The Full Moon. Everything's going to be great. For mature audiences, viewer discretion is advised. Ooh, wait. Do you have like a, a Thank you too. So I'm loving this. That was gross. Uh here your little alarm clock magic nonsense. Pride weather update partially cloudy, redder than usual somehow. He still got the bandages. Okay. See, this is what I'm talking about. I'm more of a show tune person. I get how a lot of... Uh, mind you, this might become a lot more amazing. I don't know. I get how a lot of people might prefer Look My Way, but this just hits my whole vibe more. Uh, the, the way this is playing out. If he could be part of my world. I mean, that is how, that is what this sounds like. Ooh, ooh. Calendar. Do it! Yes! That's amazing. Okay. <laughs> I love that his nothing calendar entry is just a horse. Business day, Millie party. Kill them all, check the van. Moxie day. Practice. Luna on walk. Call fizzies. Aw. Deadline. For what? Deadline to... Maybe that was the shot? Feel that fucking guy. Daddy, daughter, day. <laughs> yeah, he is. Stolas is on the calendar. Don't forget the bondage kit. Okay, so you guys have a proper date playing with the horses. <laughs> See him tonight. All right, all right. It's been a while since he begged for attention. Are we okay? Are you looking say, forward to this? Oh no. But but uh, you seem to be looking forward to this. I that's more hopeful than we usually have. All right, all right. Reason to be. I always love that his, uh, hooves kind of look like stilettos. See him tonight? All right, all right. It's been a while since he begged for attention. Are we okay? <laughs> Can't really say. I'm getting by by avoiding his questions. So complicated. I hate when it's complicated. Why do I always the shirt. have situations that are complicated? Here I go again, getting in my head. So I'll focus okay. on the all right, all right, you can stand to spend a little bit more time in your head, but that aside, I want to take a look at your shirt. A little hard to see, but it, I'm pretty sure it looks like a My Little Pony horse. Hey, when it's complicated, why do I always end up in situations that are complicated? Here I go again, getting in my head, so I'll focus on the sexy stuff and When I see when him, I see him, I'm gonna do that thing <laughs> <he> <laughs> <likes>. <laughs> Nice 
Aww. Oh, we've seen him taking these pills before, too. Um, mm. give me a second. I'm going to see if I can't find... I'm pretty sure we've seen what's on this bottle before. Just give me a second. All right, they just say happy pills on them, so it's anti-anxiety medication, which makes sense. Do that thing he likes. I will change no need to change things. I'll just bring the rope and spice. Oh, we've got a nice arrangement, and it's working out just fine. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. I mean, honestly, you both could stand, and I never reference this show for the record. I'm not much of a Friends fan, but you could stand to go on a break. Maybe don't make anything official. No, come on. You haven't given him the gift yet, awesome. Wait to lose ourselves in nasty sets and make that bird squawk. Really must convince we'll just stick with what makes sense. Like him sucking my oh, this is the worst. Waiting for the shoe to drop. Who needs words when you got a mouth full of them? Come to your senses. Then I'll just think with my tongue where I'm worthy of your love. <laughs> okay, okay, for the record, this song became amazing. Regular stance. Okay, it was. I was just enjoying it because of my love for show tunes before, but it rules also. It's fucking miserable. I gotta look at this group. No, no one we... Well, actually, I think we recognize the, the guy with his daughter on the left. Like, almost nothing in this relationship has directly been your fault. There's a couple things that might be on you, but... I love that song. I don't know about the rest of y'all. Eh. Is this a trap of some kind? I think it might be. Sure hope this blast doesn't break. Nah. Okay. And, oh, wait, it's the cherubs? I thought this was IMP. The only major design criticism I levy at Hell of a Boss that I don't think has been Hotel has yet shown humans off, my, off the top of my head. Though, presumably, they'd look about the same. Uh, in, in Has Been Hotel. The only, yeah, design criticism I really levy is that, uh, Vivian Matrano's human designs are really boring. Like, like, I, maybe it's to, uh, to show an intentional contrast, but they are just amazingly dull. Just in the right place at the right time. <laughs> Did you have to hug him so hard? I'm at underwear level, you know, and that guy clearly hadn't showered today. Oh, stop complaining. Oh, okay. I had to sell it, didn't I? How'd we do, Cletus? My great 
Let's set up for another run. I don't know, Cletus. Yeah, people don't really have much cash anymore. Sinful. We've been over this. We are still helping people. We just provided that man with an opportunity to be selfless and heroic. Sure. He's sure to get into heaven. We just saved a soul. Is that how it works? Don't you think? I mean, just because he didn't know that he wasn't saving somebody, he still did the effort. It's still it, you're still bullshitting yourselves. Live long enough to save more souls and earn our way back into heaven. Of course, I just that that whatever the group is that's hunting the 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 demons, the government. Okay, why didn't they just use the same thing? <laughs> oh no! You're working for that demon filth. Where's your boss? What boss? This guy. God. <laughs> you know that peanut head? So that's his name. No. You know, I think maybe we can help each other out here. Come on. <laughs> Are all these storylines gonna come together at once? This could be amazing. Today, sir, it's rare to okay. wear something not bad. Well, it's the first of all, fuck you. It's the full moon. <laughs> right. Up with Stolas tonight. Felt like dressing up a little since it's been a few months since I've been inside of his feathered ass. A few months? Yeah, the birds started giving me more ways out of our monthly fuck sesh. She'd be all like, Oh, Blitzy, I know it's the full moon tonight, but you don't have to come if you don't want to, Blitzy. So I've just been taking breaks from having to plow his feathered ass into his fancy ass mattress. Ugh. TMI. Sir. No, no, I mean, he was a little fuckery. It's been a good day, feeling like my stamina's up, and I'm horny. Oh, shit. He's getting bored of you. What? Yeah, man. no. If someone wants to see you less and less, big red flag. If they give you chances to ditch, they probably want out themselves. No. Passive aggressive about it. Dicks. How do you know, Luna? <laughs> Cause I do that all the time. Well, tits. Guess I finally got to do position 37 tonight. Don't worry though, this book ain't going nowhere if I have anything to fuck about it. I'll dick him so good, he'll let us keep this thing another year Can, can, can hell of a boss turn just a bit triple X so I can see what, uh, position 37 is? So fucking good, sir. Don't worry, Mox. By the end of the night, I'll have Stolas eating out of my ass. If the gag will let him. Uh, uh, Stop! <laughs> okay, grow up, Mox. That's what adults do. We're horny. Fuck me, Moxie. We've used like all the shit in this box. I, if Stolas is bored after this, I, no. I need to up the ante. Moxie, I need you to hold down the fort. Get some overdue paperwork done. What overdue paperwork? Right. <laughs> just give to Moxie. Why would a bunch of Angels be looking for demons. We just want to get back into We're exorcists, the flaming swords of the heavens, here to strike them. Oh hell yeah, you've really you've really uh, adapted. We lay in wait for them to return to Earth, so we might smite them once and for all. Guys talking about ow. Maybe you don't have to wait. Come with us. <laughs> Oh, look at the presentation this guy has! Are these just soldiers? Since their assault on Compound X, our government has quadrupled our funding. From ten dollars to forty dollars. Military advancements. Demonic containment cells. Hellfire suppression suits. Camouflage exoskeletons and a battalion. Me a <laughs> Just a furry suit. That's great. A ticket to the other side. An extra dimensional portal generator. This bad boy will allow us to open a door straight into hell. Will we plan on eliminating the demonic threat before they can punish this great country? That's so awesome. Well, uh, 
once we work out all the kinks. How do you guarantee you don't end up in the pride ring? Because that would kind of change things, so far, wouldn't it? only been able to open the portal about two feet in diameter. Hardly big enough to fit a child through. And we can't very well send children. After last time. Nah. <laughs> Goddamn American heroes. What the fuck? I'm not even sure that was hell we sent them to. Point is, we could use someone or someones with more experience. How about it, little guys? Wanna help, help us hunt some demon scum? Yes! <laughs> no! Okay, I loved it. I thought that was just a joke. They're actually gonna use them? This is so stupid! I love it! Are you gonna be able to get through? They had, to they had to send the suits through piece by piece. That's great. Welcome, little one. What can I interest you in today? I'm okay. For a snazzy candle. One that screams sexy. You got anything that'll get anyone in the mood, buddy? Bet you're in the lust ring. Everything. Are you talking about like the the? Energy. But what kind of mood are you aiming for? Just. Horny, very, very horny, Max horny. There's no way he couldn't have this conversation. No, no, no. I'm a simple pervert imp. I just need something fucking. Miracle that you ended up so close. Yeah, right? Wow. Where's the rest of them? He wasn't alone before. I say we follow him for a bit. Make sure he's by himself. Cletus, if we don't do this, we're never getting back into heaven. Oh, Which is no. Why we have to make sure this goes smoothly. We have only one shot. It has to be perfect. Do you know the measurements of the other one? Uh, not really, but he's tall as shit. Well, we have some pretty long harnesses. Also can't go wrong with something that stretches. Ooh, that is fancy. All right, I'm into it. Okay. Sweet heavens, what kind of store is this? What do you think? I truly is a sicko. Oh, you two. You two can't talk. I feel bad for, for the goat at this point. My slightly robotic looking friend. Wouldn't you just assume that he had like, um, words, brain, prosthetics. That word, wouldn't you just assume they were prosthetics? Like we already know what Fizzarali's prosthetics are capable of. It's not that crazy in this world. With the, the Omnitrix on his chest. Like, do you have any harshly worded bumper stickers? Uh. <laughs> How are you gonna pay for this? I don't know if that's exactly what we're looking for. What was that other horrid hell spawn looking at? Oh, just some of those. <laughs> <laughs> Why'd you have to? He's clearly on his way to claim another innocent earthly soul in some sick. <laughs> we have to stop him. Not yet. We have to wait for our moment. This is so stupid. Solid fizz. Ooh, yay! Tonight, and I know you and Oz make the best toys in town. I got you, buddy. We have some new prototypes that I think will get the job done for a fancy gentleman like yourself. Oh shit. Always nice to see Discord, but I'm a little surprised. <laughs> um. <laughs>
<laughs> he's, he, he's been turned to stone again! <laughs> oh god. We have got these new feeds. Ooh, they're made of real obsidian. That's oh, beautiful, but you know, Stolas never really seemed into the beads. Oh, righty, not into the beads. I get it. Fancier then. We have some stylish blindfolds. Our new collection has encrusted jewels. Oh shit, those are nice. Yeah, but I don't really think it's gonna be the uh, the expense side. You don't want to use that. You that that's the you build up to the Dragon Driller five thousand. This place. It's so heavily guarded. Uh, armory? A war room? Quiet! Don't you realize stealth is our greatest advantage here? Oh, darling, look. Voyeurs. Positively. <laughs> we really are in the last ring. <laughs> it's, a, it's an authentic experience. No. He's gonna be gone. Whoa, whoa, who? Millie? Whoa! They recognized you, I assume? already following our dumbass boss to make sure he doesn't fuck up and lose our meal ticket. Ha! And you weren't exactly covert. God damn! I wonder if we could see them. Was I stupid for not noticing them? Let's see. I'm not gonna look for too long, but... I wouldn't doubt that we can see them, like, in the windows or in the background at some point. I didn't spot him. Find ya? We were already following our dumbass boss to make sure he doesn't fuck up and lose our meal ticket. And you weren't exactly covert. Oh god damn it. You got a lot of nerve coming to our neighborhood after the ass kicking you took last time. A lot of nerve and a lot of upgrades, much. Okay. Not gonna go down without a fight, I respect it. Oh shit! Hey, wake up, asshole! Horrible. <laughs> Sorry, hun. You can play as me, but that don't mean you're anywhere close. Ouch! <laughs> The level of ruthlessness IMP has for the cherubs. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hell, bitch. <laughs> you don't play those sort of action hero lines well, gotta say. Okay, so I'm assuming at this point they intend for these characters to be in future episodes, because they absolutely could have killed them by now. Oh, damn. Oh, damn! Nice move! That seems almost unfair. Are you gonna try and land in the pool? What the fuck? <laughs> Bad. 
with the leash. Okay, you two. Okay, bye. Is he late? He's what I got for us. depressed yeah, right now. Shit for us to play with yeah, 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 there, 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 there. Like this extra large candle that smells like <sighs> horny. I got, I got what, whatever uh, this little. Oh guy dear. Is, but I'm sure there's some place in your cloaca we can stick it. And look at this bad boy. Oh man. <laughs> Okay, I get that you're depressed right now, Stolas, but that should have been <laughs> at least a little bit more of an eyebrow raise. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, I, I, it's right here. I always bring it. Why do you... I need it back. Permanently. No, 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 no. Ho hold on, Stolas, come on. Is this because I've taken up skipping a few rounds with you in bed because I'm busy? That ain't fair. All right, I, I, I can still hold up my end of the bargain. All right, let, let me show you a good time tonight. You know I can. Please don't say it like that, Blitz. I Come on, bitch. You know I don't disappoint. No, 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 no. You have to listen. I've made up my mind. Stop. I don't blame you for thinking the way you are right now, Blitz, but you could fuck this up in a way that I would blame Please. you for. I need this book, Stolas. I will do anything. This is an Asmodian crystal. It's registered in your name. Uh, what? Asmodeus has his demons legally travel to Earth for work all the time. I made the case for you to own one. You will be technically under his jurisdiction, but you will be able to go anywhere you want in the human realm without fear of consequence. I'm amazed that it never really came in. Uh, I'm real. I, no longer I'm amazed that it never really came up. Someone trying to actually get them in trouble like i want to know who what the legal authority is maybe it's one of the sins we haven't met yet like wrath would have been in charge of that longer need my grimoire what you no longer have any obligation to see me to touch me to bed me you are you are free of me i don't understand. Why are you giving me this? Am I not, like, fucking you good enough? Because I, I can always, I can always do better. Blitz, I'm giving you this because I care very deeply for you. And I have for some time. That is the coolest fucking thing he could have done right there! I forget the emotional consequences of this conversation! Or how concerningly badly I think Blitz is about to- I think he's about to do something ridiculously stupid. Let's forget that for a second. Let us forget that and just look at how cool this was. That was awesome. I'm giving you this because I care. Very he had to give you a magical tramp stamp to finish this relationship. And I have for some time. But this transactional thing we have, it's not right anymore. It hasn't been. It never was. And now all I can see is how wrong it is to be so tethered to someone in such an unfair way. And not know how they feel. But I want you to continue to be who you are. Your business. You don't have to stay here with me. But I want you to. Come on, Blitz, at least. I want you the best thing you could do right now is just say, I don't know how I feel right now. I'm gonna go for now. Because I don't, he genuinely doesn't. It would be the truth. But I don't think he's gonna have that subtle of a reaction. To stay here with me because you want to. Only if you want to. Okay, all right, you're fucking with me. This is an interesting role play. Never done this one, but I can get into it. All right, how's this? Right. Oh, Stolas, I'll stay with you. I love you so much. I... Thank you, Blitz. For awakening me. For making me so happy. Even if only for a little while. I wish you the best with your business. Wait, what? You are serious? Oh, hold on now, Souls. What the fuck? I have my answer, Blitz. You needn't say anything. 
I had wanted you for so long. The fact that you couldn't believe that I might have these feelings about you, that your first instinct is that it's always- It's because he has such a low opinion of himself, you stupid bird brain! Not to say that you're not wrong to, to do things the way you are, and that you, right, right, you know what I'm saying, it's fine. The fact that you couldn't believe that I might have these feelings about you, that your first instinct is that it's always about sex. That's enough to know what this is. What? Fuck you, Stolas. You spring this feelings bullshit on me. Are you fucking kidding? Can I get a fucking minute to think after everything you put me through, you pompous, rich asshole? Okay, I admit I like this response better than what he was doing before, but it's still probably... You have to walk away for now, for now. You can come back. Treat me like one of your little butler imps. You can't just dismiss me like that. I mean, you royal fucks think you can do this every time. Aww. Like, you can just play it, with our feelings. Whoa, because... what was that? Uh, this, I, I, I like it because it's more honest. Think you can do this every time. Like, you can just play with our feelings because we're smaller and not as important. Well, I'm not letting you, bitch. Let's go. It's honest, so I'm happier for this being where this conversation went, but... I think so very highly of you. I didn't realize you think so low of me. <laughs> Goodbye, Blitz. Stolas, wait! I'm... What... the... Fuck! This conversation can continue. This is better than where you were before. This is better than where you were before. And it's not that he thinks so lowly of you, Stolas. I, I will reiterate, he thinks he is the biggest piece of shit in the world. He can barely look at himself in the mirror. And he's projecting that a little bit. This is good. This is good. It fe it breaks my heart as someone who wants to see these two end up together. But long term, long term, this is the best thing that could have happened for this relationship. If Blitz makes some correct soul searching and decisions and yada 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 yada, but this is good. This is an outstanding episode. This is probably the strongest episode since Ozzy's overall, just in terms of natural progression. I didn't expect that because I didn't care much for Cherub, and they were a fun little comedic thing in this episode. But... Mm. Yeah, it was, it was honestly just a very tightly written episode. Very well done. And I'd go through the whole credits once to make sure there's nothing that happens, but then I'll go back through and do the reading. This was outstanding. No, it's obvious. It's obviously a knife in the back. It felt like for Stolas, but oh man! I love this. I f the I, I I reiterate a bunch that the character work on this show is superb. They probably underuse uh, Luna and Millie still, overall. But... God damn. That's my question, is does the show just end once... Stolas and Blitz are fully together, and like, properly happily together? As that is definitely the core emotional crux of the whole thing.
Hmm. Produced, created, and directed by Vivian Madrano. Written by Vivian Madrano and Adam Nealon. Story by Vivian Madrano, Brandon Rogers, and Adam Nealon. Casting. Voice production by Horseless Cowboy. Casting director and executive producer with Timothy Cubison. Producer was Austin Snyder. Voice director was Richard Horvitz. Casting associate was Brenda Marie Phillips. Associate producers was, were Anastasio. Anastasio. <clears throat> Mima Moo Moo Wee. Rubber Baby Buggy Bumpers. Rubber Baby Buggy Bumpers. Anastasia. Barbado, Sarah Duval, dialogue recordists were Josh Greenfield and Yao Vlitman, Matteo Barragon, and Simon Guevara Wells. Voice production coordinators were Alex B. Kim, Anthony Bianincello, Christina Diamantara, Salvador Blahe Montiel, and Samuel J. Richardson. Dialogue editors were Cesar Marenko, Carrie Sheck, Kevin Patel, audio QA was Stephanie, Stephanie Kamari, and Jake Gaskill. Interns were Frankie Westmoreland, Katiana Sarkeesian, George Drysdale, Haley Buyan, Kaylee Pine, Brian DeLoney, Alexis Holt, Yaron Maudel, Maeve Schmidt, and Noah Alderette. Starring Brandon Rogers as Blitz. Does it always look like that much of a target on the O? Hmm. Starring Bryce Pink in the Stolas. Starring Alex Brightman as Fizzer Raleigh. I don't think that Alex Brightman should have gotten a uh, higher billing here than the, uh, the Cherubs this time. Starring the voices of Richard Horvitz as Moxie, Vivian Nixon as Millie, and Erica Lindbeck as Luna. Starring the voices of Don Daryl Rivera as Cletus. Who is the baby one, right? Jacob. Jacob. Jaden LeBron as Colin and Vivian Madrano as Keeney. Keeney is the the girl, right? Uh Michael yeah, what is her whole deal? Is she like a sheep? Michael Romeo Ruaco as Agent One, Erica Luttrell as Agent Two. Additional voices were Jaden LeBron, Richard Horvitz, and Monica Franco. Board leads were Zach Gearing, Ariel Somerville, storyboarded by Gavin Ericon, and Samantha Ames. Head of production was Tom Murray, animation director was Sky Henwood, animation leads were Melanie Mrozek, Ariane Roy, and Avin Hurd. They okay, yeah, they there was a name change there. Okay. Art director was Sam Miller. Animators were Alicia Clark, Andy Ortiz, Anthony Wyatt, Bathion Erk Mays, Brooke Burnett. Brian Salter, Carmen Gomez, Sarah Legue, Phoebe Chiborman, Chloe Perrin, Alexandra Podkeska, Corbin Bowman, Damian Isaac Leva, David Hernandez Alvarado, Etienne Cote Nuka, Melvin Utinkio, Franco Salazar, Emma Frankie Jensen, Carolina Piaz, Gina Basoro, Jacqueline MacArthur, Teo Yihang, Joe Ayala, Julia, Kale Lorenzo, Carl Sia, Kati Nitt, Kian Shirit, Leah Harris, Luca Boyd, Lucas Flores, Martin Essenus, Jessica St. Amand, Matthew Margerison, Melissa McCann, Michael Azar, Fernando Cipriani, Lane Top, David Henry, Ali Smallwood, O. Inolino, Paris Stakem, I love that name, uh, Birgit Poyo, Ulig, Rafael Kowicz Rivera, Reina P. Buxton, Rosa Serda Sorley, Roy Almaraz, Ruth Harbison, Sally Cedarland, Sayaman Kali Lorenzo, Sam Kabanak, Sarah Zargari, Sean McAllister, Sebastian Velasquez Fajardo, Daniel Varela, Shane Young Singh, Sheen, Claudia Sofia Vargas, or Vargas, probably just Vargas, uh, Constanza P. Lemus, Annie Bearden, Anastasia Leptiva, Suni DB, Tally Lawrence, Teresa Furtado, Tune Ertutar, Valentin Valentina Vega, Gelvaz, Vigo Uno, Welsi Hellinger, Will Wright, Yumna Matwali, Crescent Rhodes, Key Revisionist was Vanya, Marco Almost Nungi. Additional services by Toon City, Manila, X Vancouver. CUIB director was Alvin Algernon Sarto. Color stylist was Carla Neo. 
senior key, see, senior QIB director. Senior QIB checker was Froilan Gervo and Bobby Coronado. Lead color stylist was Mary Leanne Veloso. Technical director was Thelmo Thelmo. God, I love that still. Let me let me brain for a second here. Production director was Reggie Umali. Quality control che checker was Dennis Fabros and Samuel Gonzalez. Production assistant was Glaudencio. Lan Sang, senior production assistant was Joel Su. Creative asset supervisor was Jeffrey Gungan. Production coordinator was Jinky Factor. Compositing supervisor was Antonio Cardiente. CUIB artists were Joanny. Two J's. I'm not sure how, if that's a special pronunciation for that. Joanna Marie Akahedo. Marco Antonio Briones. Chester John Burgos. Lester Cabilla. Ryan Checa. Marianne Fajardo. Robert Florida. Teodi Geringaro, Rowena Asip, Bernie John Asip, Angelina Lagaspi, Jan Ray Marzan, Ron Miranda, Jamie Odevillis, Jay Angre, Jocelyn Pedro, Dennis Pondavilla, Shari, Shari, Rabaya, Ray Jonathan Ramos, Lutgarda Rhoda, Melvin Talagtag, Erickson Villegas, Viegas. Compositors were Mark Anthony Camora, Carlos Miguel Muncal, and Melvin De Los Reyes. Painters were Raquel Evelyn Tayabab, Mary Michelle Chavez, John Erickson De Leon, Marlon Estelonio, Ramo Gubaya, Michelle Martin Mantilla, Maricel Plaza, Abigail Rivera, Michael John Cesperes, and Reza Marie Takabun. Cleanup was Luis Adolfo Martinez Rodriguez, Abba Angles Garcia, Angela Diatama, Ala Alma Annabel Pereira, I think. Yes. Sarah Carmichael, Jacob McCaw, Brandon Isla Madrigal, Olivia Johnson, Kansu Cantos, Carla Simbarine. Amador, Signe Dagmarsh Letterman, David Kalev Roy, Diego Mejia Pacheco, Elio Lichetti, Eli Powell, Emiliano Rangel Garcia, Emily Etivella, Isabel Foos Buckley, Haley N. Pike, Joseph Abutin, Julio Marquez P., Kel Kine Sylvester, Kane Daly, Kate Lowe, Kevin Martinez Bringas, Bennett Joy Flores, Kimberly Marsing, Leah Makepeace, Zellum Kelizaya, Marcelo M. De Leon Quintana, Melanie Ann Vlada Shianova, Nicole Hernandez Perdomo, Anthony Kona, Sidney Gale, Terrence N. G., Eric M. Cozada Perez, Olga Vaconina, Venisa A. Del Aguia Castillo, Zamira M. Guevara Hernandez. Cleanup leads were Samantha Ambris and Logan Niblock. FX team was Cyber. Jen Ardor, Jose B. Urebiedo, Mar Marla White, Mandy Lee, Nahu, Nikos Martinez, Rafael El Elizondo Mendia, Silk Karakan Carney, Zamina, Sustata, Kelly, and Joel Williams. FX lead was Carolina Piaz. Background lead was Amanda Hurd and Savannah McKendry. Background team was Alicia Clemente, Anna Grelinort, Arena Sampson, Ashley Verm. Ashley Wernamont, Ashley Beavers, Aim Sotoya, Benji Santiago, Bianca Darwan, Charlene Hu, or Sue, Chloe Cherubin, Courtney Lassick, Crosby Gonzalez, D. Morales, Dania Nava, Daniela Cortez, Zoe Martin Parkinson, Della Martinez, Diego Reyes, Duong Ni Nguyen, Nguyen, Duong Nguyen, Elena Lee, Erica Rodriguez, Genevieve Tree, Gia Giovanna G. Sardinas, Cardinas, Cardinas, hmm. Holly Bowie, Jasper Liu, Jasmine Gubb, Jasmine Lee, Justina Berkowitz, Berkowitz, Justine Gurley, Katie Ellie, Veronica Glitterno Glitteronen, Veronica Glitteronen, Cardinas, 
Zamina Raya Salmaran, Kersi Jung, Laura Arce, Leslie Erkovsivek, Ling Su, Mark Noble, Marie Hart, Maggie Vodasek, Mimi Schriefers, Neve Asuro, Nick Reese, Nicole Rinsky, Patrick Pedroza, Phoebe Milkan, Riley Schmitz, Rita Argiles, Sarah Talbot, Sergio Rodriguez, Sergio Rodriguez, Stevie Shu. Designers were Ali Bacon, Benjamin Santiago, Brooke Durnett, Dorothy Tidwell, Kelsey Claybrook, Mathilde Savatre, Nicole Srenko, Natara Narungsa, Perea, Perea, Perla Kambara, Shea Beck, Sterling Scarlet Richter, Victor Goncharov, Design leads were Cecilia kalaskin Calves, Donna Zamet, Viz Dev was Bridget Nicole, Hunter Braley, and Salem Puyan. Post production audio services were Atlas, o Atlas Oceanic Sound and Picture, Sound for Supervisor and Re Recording Mixer was George Peters, Sound Designer was Rob Hargraves, Sound Editor was Kennedy Phillips, Studio Manager was Kimberly Bowman. Music by Jeffrey Friedman, Jefferson Friedman, I'm sorry, with Matt Novak and Christopher French and Brian Sadler. Motion graphics was Michael Boggs. Production assistants were Joe Storch, Monica Franco, Jacob McCaw, Josie Nealon, Jessica Ivey, and Lucas Boyd. Executive assistant was Joseph Brent Jens. Compositing team was Brandon Dries, Julia B. Julia V. Bavishiva, Steve Roberts, Zach Monroe, Fletcher Del Vecchio, Chloe Waite. Production coordinator was Hilary Locke. Comp leads was Colton Siemens and Michael Boggs. Production manager was Adam Nealon. When I See Him, performed by Bryce Pinkman and Brandon Rogers, Brandon Rogers, written and produced by Sam Haft and Andrew Udenberg. Additional production by Keith Horn. Special thanks to Allison Madrano, Brandon Griecas, Reagan Williams, and Courtney Moore, Patreon supporters. Thank you everyone for your patience and support. Next time.